sad to think that all of this could melt. The Antarctic Peninsula is one of the fastest warming places in the Southern Hemisphere. In the last 50 years, the average temperature in the Antarctic Peninsula has increased by nearly 3 degrees Celsius. This might not seem like much, but that means Antarctica, which holds 90% of the world's ice, is melting 10 times faster than the average in the rest of the world. It's been so hot over the past 10 years that even ice is struggling to form. The Antarctic sea ice extent, which is the most important ice on Earth, reached a record low on February 13, 2023. If all this melted, estimates suggest that world sea levels would rise roughly 200 feet. And yes, climate change is exacerbating all of this. Now it's normal for icebergs to melt a bit, but scientists worry that the ratio between how much snow and ice melts versus how much is accumulated is not well balanced. The Southern Ocean has absorbed much of the heat and carbon created by us humans. And this is already affecting local wildlife, like the krill, which depend on ice for their early life stages. But with less sea ice, all the animals that count on it for food start to struggle. That also includes whales, penguins, and seals. Of course, Antarctica melting won't happen overnight. It can take thousands of years. However, it's close to crossing an irreversible tipping point. According to the IPCC 6 assessment report, the rate at which Antarctica is melting will not be reversible at a human timescale, unless we do something about it. So there you have it. If you want to keep having these stunning views, we need to lower our carbon emissions and fight against the climate crisis.